Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Hello, Edison. Olivia. What? What's going on with us? Nothing. Nothing's going on with us. Edison. This serious boyfriend that you had, the one that you broke but up with? I have a lot to do tomorrow, and I haven't had much sleep, and I'm not in the mood. The to... serious boyfriend, was it Fitzgerald Grant? <laughs> You're asking me if I was in a relationship with the president? Yes. He's married? Yes. He's the president? Yes. Is this a joke? Are you kidding? I'm waiting for you to answer the question. You're mad because I wouldn't let you into the president's hospital room? Not mad. Concerned? Wary? Suspicious? Don't be. Because the president's not your boyfriend? You really want to stop asking me that? I've been racking my brain trying to find a reason why you'd be stupid enough to willingly attempt to defraud the American people. And the only reason I can come up with for why you'd be in so deep is because you were his mistress. Five? That's sexist and insulting. You'd never suggest Scooter Libby was screwing Dick Cheney. Four, the lengths you're going to try to twist this into a conspiracy are cause for concern. You should speak to someone about that. Three, the president is awake and talking, and the suggestion that he isn't is partisan political crap that I thought you had enough integrity to rise above. Two, in the past three minutes, you've called me a criminal, a whore, an idiot, and a liar. So this is pretty much the last time we'll be speaking. So one, who I am, or am not screwing. What I am or am not doing is no longer any of your damn business. You forget how well I know you. You this angry? You have something to hide. I have been summoned to a meeting at the White House tomorrow with acting President Langston, but the letter of reinstatement, which she says is a forgery. And she's going to tell that to the entire cabinet first thing in the morning. So if there's something that you want to tell me, do it now when I still have time to help you. We have a problem. 